Hello guys, SP Architects here today I want to show you how to work your with your facade with a smarter way, not harder way. As you can see here, for this facade we have two different or three different layers. First our main layer, brick layer and our first pattern layer and second pattern layer. We have two main openings and wooden elements. In this tutorial you will learn how to do this very quickly. By the way, if you are serious about learning ArchiCAD, you can go to my Patreon page and with that page you can see my whole complete apartment project from scratch to the end. And also you can download all of my project files as well as this one and some advanced libraries and 3ds Max files. Alright, that's enough with the ads, let's move on to the tutorial without further delay. Alright, here we are in ArchiCAD and at the very first I want to copy this floor among the whole story levels. So to do it, I'm going to go to floor plan and select all of the windows and walls, hit Ctrl plus C and from the here go to second story and Ctrl plus V. And here we will get this and if you want to do this very quick and easily first we will just create different ground floors like this and I'm going to select them on the floor plan. I'm going to right click and click select in 3D. Well, instead of selecting this one, we will select for the second story, select in 3D, and after that we will hit Ctrl plus U, and now we hit Elevate, set home story by elevation is important, and we will select this increment and spread, click OK. Once we select a level, and we can easily duplicate like this. Well, if you get something like this, I'm going to show you how to fix that because it comes from the uh, this seal or header height. It comes from the seal to story two. Instead of that, we will select the wall base. Well, let's do that. Let's select all of the windows, and from here we will select this to wall base. Now let's do it again like this. Control plus U elevate and maybe four additional times will be enough. Alright now we are going to work for this facade. I'm going to extend some white surface onto this and it will form different shapes. One of the methods of doing this is using Mesh Tool or using Slab Tool. But instead of using Slab Tool, I prefer Mesh Tool because you can confuse your slabs with other slabs or your floor plan. So to avoid it, you can use Mesh Tool. Alright, now we select Mesh Tool and we will change its material surface. Let's select something white, maybe stucco white pine, and then we will select some geometry methods from here. I will make this 20 centimeters thickness, and from here I'm going to use the height. to get my shape. We can copy this and change its height according to our design. Maybe something like this. We can turn this from here
and use for another element which turns right you can use this but this is a very old method instead of doing this i prefer going to start elevation and sketch first with the line tool for instance I can create a white border for this building something like this as you can see I can select all of my lines but to see it better instead of using lines I prefer using fill tool with the fill type 25% and to see background backside of it we will select this empty circle and hit space and click my border but now we will change its display order to print front and let's just change its color a colorful thing like this also I want to get rid of this one and fix my sketch first I want to create a whole thing like this and I will use this minus I will create a hole here another hole maybe a rectangle will be very well We can create a crevice to here, maybe a deeper crevice, and we can combine these two different windows. We can copy this to here and maybe to here. All right. For the remaining parts, we are just going to create simple holes. Once you create one of them, it's very easy to copy along your whole facade. And the last one. Just like this. Now this step is very easy, we are going to copy this fill and go to options and go to profile manager. We are going to create a new profile manager and I'm going to call this facade 1. Now we are in the profile manager options. We can delete this and paste our fill. Well, now we will move this point to this red point, its starting position. After that, we will change use with beam. We are not going to use this as a ball because if we use this as a ball, it can intercept with our facade walls and our floor plan may get disrupt. Now, this is OK. We will hit save. After that, we will go to floor plan and click beam. And for the structure, we will select this profile click custom and we will choose our facade bar 
Now for this step, we will determine a thickness. It's up to you. Maybe 30 centimeters will be enough. Hit enter. Now we are going to move this and we are just going to stick it to the facade. Just like this. But we don't know its proper height or proper coordinate. Maybe we can get a tip from here. It can be uh, matched with this window. It's okay, but we don't know the elevation yet. Now to fix it, of course, we will go back to the south elevation and move it to its proper position. Just like this. It's very easy. Now if we go back to the 3D window, we will see this and if we change its settings for the override surface and assign something right. Just like that. We did this with Profile Manager. Maybe you can ask a question something like this. Why don't we use Morph tool for this station? I'm going to show you why we didn't. Let's go back to the south elevation and I'm going to move this beam to right. If we use Morph instead of the profile, if I hit space, as you can see, it will use only borders, not inside. Therefore, after this stage, you have to create opening openings for this facade element, one by one. So our sketch is minus. Well, if you don't want to use profile anyway, you can right click and click conversation to morph as you desired and use this as a morph. After this stage, how can we assign wooden elements inside of our opponents? As I mentioned before, we can use Mesh tool. Maybe we can select Siding and we can make something like this. And we can copy. as much as you want. For this stage, of course, you can use more tool by selecting this geometry method. But be careful not to select different coordinates such as this point. Otherwise, as you can see, architect may confuse your coordinate and make crazy shapes. Once you have done this, you can click the face and use push pull and you can use your thickness. But however, I still don't recommend to you use it because if you want to change this shape, it's not easy. It's not easy to select this face instead of that. Maybe you can create a different level for this. I will show you if you use. If you had used mesh tool, you can add points to your mesh and you can offset according to your design and even you can bend this. 
but you can't do for the morph. And this was how you can work with your facade with the smartest way. I hope you have learned something new and I hope you have liked this tutorial. If so, please hit the like button. It's very important for the YouTube algorithms for the channel for growing larger. And also it's very important for you because YouTube will show you the similar tutorials like this. Until the next time, have a nice day. Bye. And if you are serious about learning ArcCAD, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until the next time. Have a nice day. Bye.